Here are three reasons why Tfue won first place in the World Cup qualifiers. Presented by Fortnite Master. This week's pro player analysis is on the one and only Tfue. This man is a legend in the Fortnite scene. Not only has he grown into one of the most prolific content creators the game has ever seen, but this tournament placements and earnings are next to none. For this analysis, we chose a couple of clips from his first place World Cup qualifier session. These clips highlight three major reasons why Tifu was able to qualify, from his adoption to the redeploy meta to his mesmerizing navigation of low ground. And don't forget, he did this all while live streaming to 200,000 viewers. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first and perhaps most apparent thing that Tifu does differently is carry redeploy. Most pros and players trying to qualify for the World Cup run more traditional loadouts, opting for other utility or healing over redeploy. Tifu, however, saw the competitive potential of redeploy early on and has definitely proved its effectiveness by coming in first place in the Week 3 World Cup qualifier. To set the scene, this is Tifu's last game in this qualifier session. A win could mean qualifying, while dying early could mean missing the cut. His strategy is to take and control high ground like many other players, but unlike the others, Tifu uses redeploy to help with this, something that played a notable role in his first place finish. So let's take a look at this first clip. We're going to start right before the moment Tifu decides to take the high ground. Now, this may seem unimportant, but choosing the right moment to go for height is crucial. If you go for it too early, you won't have enough mats to maintain, but if you wait too long, you may miss your best chance to contest height. And if Tifu has taught us anything, high ground is the key to victory. The first thing we notice about Tifu is how good he is at finding the right opportunities to take high ground. Peeking through his roof, he quickly scans the surrounding area and notices that one player, sitting a few levels above the rest, is the furthest from the next circle, so they won't be able to branch out and keep height. Knowing that, they'll have to leave height, and seeing that nobody else around him has to build up, he realizes that he can just build up a few levels and he'll be higher than all of the other players. Another thing you'll notice about Tifu is how efficient he is once he takes height. Notice he immediately starts looking for shots. One of the major benefits of high ground is that you can spray down all of the other players who are trying to rotate, and he uses it really well. The more he pressures these players, especially those flying through the air, the less likely they are to land on him and try to contest height. Not to mention the free elimination points he could score himself. Let's take a moment to understand why the high ground is so good and how Tifu takes full advantage of it. In dense late games like this one, where there are 15 players left in moving circles, almost everybody is focused on rotating. Tifu is focused on getting into a good position, taking the high ground, and creating as much time as possible to look for rotate kills. In this game, he gets lucky with the 6th circle, and is already in the perfect position. He doesn't need to move at all, so he just builds up and creates nearly 20 seconds to shoot players that are rotating. He's going to repeat this pattern of creating as much time as possible for rotate kills while maintaining height and moving efficiently. Now, even though Tifu has a lot of mats, taking the high ground right before the 6th circle, like he just did, is still pretty early. High ground doesn't matter if you can't keep it and four full moving circles is a lot of time to be holding height. This is where Redeploy comes in handy. Redeploy comes with a couple of major benefits. He doesn't need to use as many mats to hold height, meaning he can stay on high ground longer and there's much less risk of getting shot out, so he can stay as high as he wants without fear of fall damage. The latter comes into play right here. Tifu makes a clutch play by using Redeploy as a safety net so he can push to keep height. When looking at the sky to shoot players rotating, he notices a player land just inside the storm to contest height by building off this mountain. He immediately starts ramping up to secure the high ground over this player. This push, however, is really scary and much less viable without redeploy. One, he's only connected by a single wood floor. And two, he's building with the weakest material and actively hears somebody spraying with an AR nearby. Without redeploy, this pushes a coin flip that could end your game. With redeploy, it's a risk worth taking. Fast forward a little bit to the 8th circle, and Tifu is still holding the high ground. He's running low on mats with just over 10 builds left, but look at what he's doing. He's branching out with just a single floor. He's not worried about being too high, nor is he worried about saving mats to waterfall down. He just continues to build single floors until he only has 2 builds left relying on the redeploy the whole time. This situation is a perfect example of how Tifu is able to clutch up using redeploy. 
It allows him to keep high ground and stay on high ground almost a full minute longer. Without it, he would have had to start dropping down near the end of the seventh circle when he still had 150 metal. Instead, he was able to stay super high up and take free shots on the players below, all of whom are only focused on each other. And once he does finally run out of mats, Redeploy comes in clutch again as his get out of jail free card. He's able to wait until the last second before the storm hits him, then just fall all the way down. This is another huge benefit of Redeploy. It's the best way to drop from high ground. It's much faster and safer than gliding or water falling down. It doesn't use any mats and it's way harder for people to counter. Here is yet another example of Tifu taking full advantage of redeploy. He is able to quickly fall down with minimal sound, land on an ideal spot to keep height advantage, then immediately find a player and score himself in a limb. At the competitive level, redeploy is an effective tool. It saves time by letting Tifu rotate and drop down quicker time that he can then use to look for more limbs. It provides a safety net while on high ground, letting you focus your energy on kills. All around, redeploy was a huge reason Tifu was able to play high ground so well and score himself a ticket to the $30 million World Cup go. in New York. Tifu is known for his high ground strats, but that doesn't mean he isn't a beast on the low ground. Late games in competitive Fortnite are undeniably hectic, especially when you're trying to navigate through moving circle rotations alongside 10 to 20 other players. Still, we see the best players consistently pop off in these late games, sometimes netting themselves double digit kills in the last few circles. Watching somebody like Tifu navigate the low ground while hunting for kills is almost mesmerizing. His decision making is so smooth that he makes it look easy to rack up a limb after a limb in a packed late game scenario like this one. He doesn't seem nervous. He isn't succumbing to the pressure. He stays calm and calculated throughout this incredibly fast and chaotic endgame. A little context before we jump in. 12 players remain. Tifu has been on the high ground for most of the moving circles in this game, but he runs out of mats and is forced to drop down halfway through the 8th circle. As he navigates the low ground, his composure and decision making truly shine through. Let's dive right in. The first example of Tifu's calm and calculated playstyle comes right off the bat. He has just run out of mats, but instead of panicking when he gets shot out, he starts looking for kills, something that not many players would have the presence of mind to do. On his way down, he spots a player on the mid ground and lands just inside the storm to try surprising them. This is a really smart play because if he gets the kill, he can grab their mats and stay on mid ground instead of falling all the way to ultimate low ground with no mats. Unfortunately, the player blocks themselves just in time and Tifu who is forced to fall down to the ground level. At this point, he knows his chances of surviving on low ground with no mats are slim. He needs a kill. If he plays defensive or timid, he's gonna get picked off for free. So he goes full send on this ginger gunner and deletes them with a near max damage pump. This was a pretty intense situation. He was falling from high ground with absolutely zero builds, meaning his game was probably hinged on getting this a limb. Yet Tifu remains calm enough to make all of the best decisions in mere seconds. Now, he goes to pick up the mats and spots a player crouching under these stairs. It's hard to emphasize this enough, but so many players would be too tunnel visioned on grabbing these mats to notice this player, a mistake that could easily end somebody's game. Tifu, however, is able to stay laser focused, immediately notices the player and jumps up a level to break line of sight. He then seamlessly transitions to his next priority, taking a second to regain his composure and reload his guns before going back on the hunt. This is where he impresses us yet again. Somehow, through all of the difficult sounds of footsteps, gunshots, and building, Tifu is able to recognize and pinpoint the footsteps of a player nearby. For most, it's a challenge to maintain any semblance of composure in this chaos. Tifu goes a step beyond that and actually pinpoints one specific set of footsteps. Judging from the audio, he knows this player is backed into a corner, so he drops down and snags himself another easy limb. Again, he grabs the loot and immediately moves on to his next play, which is getting onto mid ground and securing his own level. Although we don't know for sure, there's a good chance he's looking for more limbs here to stack up some points early on in this qualifier session. Mid ground allows him to play up or down, depending on the opportunities he sees. So, he builds up a level, catches a third player rotating on the edge of the storm, downs them without breaking stride, then proceeds to secure this level of mid ground for himself. In the 30 seconds between the moment he dropped off high ground and right now, Tifu made a flurry of good decisions. He turned a dire situation into three kills and a solid chance of winning the game with calm and calculated thinking. 
This just goes to show that you don't necessarily need to play on high sensitivity and whip your cursor around at lightning speed to be good. You just need to remain composed and practice staying cool in high pressure situations. Thank you guys for watching this video. For those who are new to the channel, if you've enjoyed this video, check out some of the others on the right side of the screen. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications for whenever a new guide shows up. We have grown tremendously in the last few months and couldn't have done it without all of our supporters. Thank you again so much and doubly so if you shared it with anyone else like your friends, family, or your pets. You guys are great and we hope to keep making videos that you all like. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One and we're out. Peace.